This is what happens when a gas station doesn't follow the rules. They're shut down by state inspectors. The pumps at this shell on Green Springs were bagged and tagged on Tuesday. They are required by law to have their dispensers tested once a year by a licensed service technician who are licensed through our department. They will come out, they'll verify the accuracy and the correctness of that dispenser. This label on a pump shows the inspection date. I do check and make sure that the sticker is updated. Kathy Hammonds also keeps a close eye on what she's charged. You know, I'm a penny pincher, so I pretty much watch all the time. Inspectors with Alabama's Weights and Measures Division answer complaints. So many, the regular random checks are on the back burner for now. And definitely more complaints now with the gas a prices lot so high. A lot more. 10 to 15 per week per inspector. So how many inspectors do we have statewide? Right now, eight. Wow, that's right. a big job. Bill Smith showed us the process. Five gallons is pumped and measured. They're allowed six cubic inches over or under. Labeling on the pumps, hoses, the auto cutoff also checked, along with the tanks for any water contamination. Sensors should alarm a business when there's an issue. All good here. Smith says serious issues are not common, but they do happen. Now, I found a few that, you know, we received complaints on that were legitimate where I pumped five gallons and it didn't even fill up half of my provers. But for the most part, they're pretty accurate. Some technology advances may cause unnecessary alarm. And while many drivers skip the printed receipt, if a gas station offers pay at the pump, they are required to offer a receipt at the pump. And that could be helpful if there's a problem down the road. I would suggest everybody save their receipts when they get them until the next time they fuel up. That way, if you do have an issue with fuel, say something happens to your vehicle, you have the address, the station name, the pump number in which you got your fuel from, how many gallons you purchased, and the product identification. So to report problems called the Weights and Measures Division in Montgomery, any issues with skimming devices on those gas pumps are sent over to the Attorney General's Office and the Secret Service. In the newsroom, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.